G'day everybody, it's me again. Um, I thought I would do a quick log and uh, of the start and the procedures I'm going to have to do to do this job. Um, this truck here is a good truck. The chassis is good, engine is good, cab is good, unlicensed, so I need to prepare it for the pits and for it to pass the pits it needs a rear main seal done, which means I've got to get this big bastard of a gearbox out. That gearbox weighs about 300 kilo, I think, maybe even more, maybe 400. It's a seven speed. Now, to get the gearbox out, I've got to take this container skell off. This is called a skell because it's like just a skeleton and uh, container pins at each corner, so you just drop a container on and off you go. Actually, originally it was a removalist truck. That's why you've got the little platform at the back. That bloody telephone just keeps ringing on me. Oh, bloody hell, where was I? Anyway, rear main seal needs to be done. Needs to pass the pits. Um, I already did the job once, uh, about a year ago, and for some reason, after about five hours of running, it spat the uh, seal, even though I did it no, pretty good as I bloody think I could. I don't think there's any, any other way than a correct way to put a seal in it, and the fact it lasted five hours and then went tells me something else happened. So we're pulling it apart again to investigate. Dad seems to believe that the flywheel is out of balance, and if that was the case, then yeah, it might be putting a bit of vibration on the crank, which would put vibration on the seal, which would stuff it. Now, the reason I need to get that truck licensed is, is because the old tilt tray, the poor old girl is, is getting uh, really sick. Um, engine is great. The, the, the turbo engine in it is absolutely awesome. I love that thing. Um, it's pretty quick for an eight tonner, but uh, problem being is, is that uh, now the gearbox gets stuck in gear, the brakes are need redoing, Basically, it's going to be more economical to fix up the other truck and transfer everything over than it is to uh, try and fix this one. So that entire tilt tray mechanism has to come off. Now, basically, the way that happens is, is there's a massive pin in there, that pin in there. Basically, we have to pop that pin out, and then this whole hydraulic tilt slide mechanism comes off and uh, then we take that bracket out, take all the brackets off, take the fuel tanks off, um, and everything apart from the cab and the chassis will get transferred onto the other truck. So we'll transfer the toolboxes, the exhaust, I'll even put the turbo kit off it because they're the same engine. Um, you know, this whole back end, the whole, the whole back end here, that all comes off big tray, big winch, that comes off with the tray obviously. Now what I'll do is, is when it's ready to come off I'll undo all the hydraulics and pop that pin out and then literally I can just chuck a sling at each corner here, sling it up to the big crane and just pick up the whole tray in one hit. And uh, we can put that on the ground off to the side, put all the brackets on, put all the other bits and pieces and then when it's finished you can just drop the tray straight back on with the crane again, put the pin in and the job's done. I know it's uh, it sounds a lot easier than it is. This is a really, really big job. Um, I'll probably have to buy a couple of bits from the magnetic drill because there's going to be about 30 holes to drill in the chassis. Um, and that's just to mount all the brackets and the reinforcing. There is a fair bit of reinforcing in here underneath. Um, I don't know if you can see the size of that. You know, you can't really see. Maybe the camera will. Right there. See the chassis doubled up. And that's the big bracket for the uh, two rams, which you can sort of see there. Oh, it's nice and greasy under here. Um, and they push the tray up for it to tilt. And then you can see that real big ram up in there. You can sort of only see the end of it right there, dead center of the frame. That's the slide ram. And now that pushes the tray back. Slides on the slides up there. See the reinforcing there on the tray. Hydraulic lines. Oh. Anyway, big job ahead. It's going to involve use of forklifts, cranes, oxy torches, um, trucks. <laughs> it's going to be a bloody big job. Anyway, oh, there's the Commodore sitting on the ground. Holden blue motor. <laughs> Distractions. Anyway, that's about it. Oh, I've got some fire extinguishers to play with. They're water ones and foam. 
Oh, distracted. I shouldn't be t telling you about all the other stuff when I'm trying to show you about the truck job, but this is going to take up a lot of my time and I'm going to get real stressed. So I'm going to stop building things and I have to blow things up. Anyway, lovely sunny day for it. Cross my fingers it doesn't rain and no circuit boards are going to cop it later on. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Wish me luck. It's going to be a bloody big job.